Okay, hi guys. In this video, I will show you a very small project I did uh, recently, which is the AI audio uh, project. So this project is something like the uh, Apple Siri, the uh, Google Home, and the uh, Amazon Echo, something like that. Uh, you just need to put the uh, speaker over here. So you can talk with this device, you can ask the weather, you can uh, ask any question. I use the OpenAI real-time API, so basically you use this one is exactly the same as you use the ChatGPT. Mm, so let me show you what it looks like. Uh, first of all, let's show you the hardware. So the hardware I use right now, I use the Pi 5. Um, Pi 5 does not come with the uh, 3.5 uh, audio port, so I have to purchase an adapter. This one is the uh, uh, speaker, and uh, because this one do come with the microphone, but uh, the microphone is not very good, and it will do have some uh, echo, so I don't like that. So I purchased another, I got another one. This one will do the uh, uh, voice connection, so um, this one will do the speaker, so they are separate. If you use the same one, they may have some echo uh, problem. So. I don't think that's a good idea if we have put them together. Uh, if you use four, it's also work. Four, you can just use the, uh, this port directly. Uh, you can connect both the speaker and the microphone. Okay, let's try this one. Let's do some uh, test. So let's plug in. Okay, what's the population of the United States? Okay, what's the population of the United States? Okay, stop. Could you uh, count from 1 to 10? Sure. Here are the numbers from 1 to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, stop. Five, stop. So you can tell uh, I can um, I, just, I could uh, uh, interrupt it. This is better than the uh, Google Home or the uh, Apple Siri because you don't have to ask, uh, uh, hey Siri, or doing, doing something, or hey uh, Google, doing something. You don't need to do that. You just uh, talk with it directly, exactly like you uh, use the chat GPT. Okay, so let's ask another question. Uh, could you tell me a story? In a small village surrounded by rolling okay, hills stop. and wide rivers, there lived a kind-hearted old gardener who spent his days tending to a magical garden. This garden okay, was stop. renowned for its beautiful, brightly colored flowers that sang melodious tunes from dawn until dusk. Okay, stop. One. Yeah, sometimes the uh, microphone is not very uh, sensitive. I think uh, I still have some uh, improvement uh, space for the uh, hardware side. I probably will pick up another uh, a better uh, hardware to do uh, this again. Uh, I will put all source code to the uh, GitHub so you guys could download from there. And also I will explain how I exactly uh, implement this one. So let's look into the code. Okay, let's take a look at how we implement this one. So here is the OpenAI real-time API uh, documentation. I use the OpenAI real-time API to uh, implement this one. So um, I use the WebSocket to connect to the OpenAI real-time API server. So we could get the uh, content from the OpenAI. Here is the main code. Yeah, I use a third part library, which is the Pi Audio. This one will take care about the communication. So I just create a input and set up the outputs. Input for microphone, output for speaker. So I put the input data once I got something. Uh, there is one thing I need to mention. In the Windows, the uh, echo canceling is work much better than the Linux. So if your microphone and the speaker is very close, there will be a problem. So the 
ankle casualty may not that good. So if that happen, um, if、uh, they are very close to each other, a microphone and a speaker very close to each other, I would、uh, recommend uh, use uh, another this code. Use this code. This code will、uh, disable the microphone when you are、uh, trying to when when you playing. When the speaker is playing, it say something. It will disable the microphone. So this will uh doing a better work for the canceling uh for for the echo canceling. So here is the code way to the uh callback speaker. After speaker uh get some after we got some thing we. Send the data to the speaker, and the speaker will、um, play that. Yeah, here is how we、uh, start the microphone. Once we start microphone, we connect to the Open AI.、Um, here we set up the the basic information, the web socket URL, and the API key. Right now, I just put the API key to the This file, but、uh, you'd better put this one to the、um, environment variable. So here, let's take a look at the the first event. This event is very important. When you connect to the Open AI, when the connection is initialized, you will get this event. And once you get this event, you need、uh, send the instruction. Uh, I call this a system prompt. Basically, you will tell the、uh, tell Open AI what you are.、Um, so this is very simple. I just say you are a friendly AI.、Uh, you can find more detail in the official documentation. So if you go here, it will、um, show you more detail about、uh, this one. And also, I create a whole bunch of the Open AI real time API. Ah,、uh, so you guys could take a look at、uh, some other some of my other video. Then I'll talk about the Open AI real time API. There are some extra parameters, just some like the voice, like the temperature. So if you want to change that, you could do that. Here is we send the send the voice. Yeah. There is some key feature you I need to mention.、Um, when we receive any audio, it just put to the buffer. But if user trying to interrupt that,、uh, I don't want.、Uh, I want to interrupt that immediately. So I just、uh, if I open it, I say, oh, it's someone interrupt that. So I just clear the buffer. I don't need to want to keep. Play, so the user will uh feel the interrupt will happen immediately, and will get a, a much better uh user experience. I also put a whole bunch of the debug information. So once the once OpenAI uh parse the message or the content, I just print all this message. When you speak or when OpenAI return return something, I always uh. Print that. Also, some extra stuff. I also、uh, print that. That will be very helpful for the debug. Here is I、uh, start the the receive process. Yeah, this is a date loop, so it keep、uh, receive message. Yeah, this is how I implement this one. For the requirements uh, uh, library, here is the requirement, and the Python I use the three point eleven. Yeah, I think that is pretty much all. I will、um, put everything to the GitHub. You guys could download that. Okay, one more thing I need to mention. Recently, I launched a project on the Kickstarter for my、uh, for the improvement of ENO one. 
Basically, there are three improvements. The first one is the front panel. I add a screen to the front panel, so make the uh, device more uh, cute and uh, uh, more live. Uh, the second one is about the uh, voice control. I will add the voice control to this device, to this uh, robot. Uh, I already add it to the ESO2, but the ESO2 comes with the RTX5, so it's uh, very easy to connect to the OpenAI real-time API since it comes with the Linux operation system. But this one, we don't have the operation system, so we need to use the ES30, ESP32 connected to the OpenAI real-time API directly. I don't know the performance will looks like, but we will see after we have this implement. The third one is we will improve do some improvements for the mobile app. I already have the mobile app, but I don't I need to do some improvements. So we could use the mobile app to control this device by the by the uh, Bluetooth or by the uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, right now only support the Wi-Fi. So um we will do a lot of improvement for this one. Uh, I don't think the Kickstarter will uh, make me a lot of money, but it will keep me uh, keep getting out of money from my pocket. That will be very helpful uh, for this project. So if you guys are interested with the improvement of the EN01, you could support me on the Kickstarter. Um, I will put the link to the description of this video, so you could uh, go there and uh, support my project. That will be uh, very helpful for my research and for myself. Uh, hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, talk uh, uh, next time. Thank you. Bye.